This is a Western Electric 6A dial intercom system from 1961. It has two talking links so it can support two simultaneous conversations. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, the current operational state of this machine. Um, it's largely as I received it. The only thing I did to it so far was to replace the 19B flashing unit with a 232B flashing unit um, which is based on an interrupter motor rather than relays so it's a lot quieter and um, it also can support uh, intermittent ringing which I want to add to the system in the future. So the first thing I'm going to show is um, dialing from station uh, 25 to station 22 and for that I'm going to use a uh, a butt set to initiate the call and uh, we'll put it on speaker so you can hear um, the dial tone and things like that. Okay this is what the dial tone sounds like. Now we're going to dial station 22. Now the LS relay for station 22 has activated, indicating that we can now pick up the, the call on station 22. And when we do that, we can see um, quite a few things happen there. Uh, the call transferred from the first link automatically to the second link because the second link was idle. And that now uh, leaves the first link available in case another station wanted to make a call. So what I'm going to go ahead and show now is I'm going to hang up on um, station 22. Um, actually, sorry, I'm going, to, I'm going to hang up on station 25. And I'm going to call station 22 back, which is still going to be busy. So here we are hanging up station 25. And now we can go ahead and make another call. doesn't support touch tone yet so we have to switch the phone into into pulse mode and we can see that the BY or busy relay activated on the 224A and we're getting a busy signal uh, to the originating station now I'm gonna go ahead and hang up on station 22 and see if the camp on feature works. When I do this, um, it should make station 22 available and the, the call that's getting the busy signal right now from station 25 should automatically cut through. And here we go, we can see the, the LS relay for station 22 activated again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to answer the call. And there we go, we, we have a talking link uh, between station 22 to 25. I'm calling on or talking on station 22 and you're hopefully hearing me on the speaker for station 25. Now I'm going to go ahead and hang up on station 22 and then I'm going to hang up on station 25 and that returns the system back to the idle state. Now I'm going to go ahead and rotate the camera so you can get a view of the the whole system um, as this system was created for 20 lines uh, it has some extra 223A KTUs for the different lines uh, additional lines and um, here you can see the the interrupter on the the right hand side that I'm now using for the busy signal uh, and that interrupter is also supplying these two uh, 230B four line 1A1 KTUs. And above that, there's another dial intercom. Um, this one's not as fancy as the 6A. It's a selector only arrangement, um, but it looks like it's been wired to support uh, two transfer circuits. So about 18 plus um, seven stations, 25 stations. Um, and here you can see there's a 224B KTU above the 224A. Uh, the 224B has an enhanced camp on circuit. So I'm going to replace the 224B 
or 224A with the 224B. Um, and then in the space where the 224B is just sitting right now, I'm gonna put a touch tone converter. So the system will work with touch tone. So as you can see, it's a fully, uh, pretty full featured 6A system. Um, it was wired kind of minimally, I would say, because it doesn't support ring back and it doesn't have um, the interrupted ringing, but those things can be can be fixed. And the, the cabinet that this is in is very interesting. It looks kind of like a 755 PBX cabinet, which was a crossbar PBX. Um, and I'm not sure how this 6A ended up in this cabinet, um, but it is it is quite interesting. Thanks for watching.